What's up, handy homers? Are you dealing with a Rinnai tankless water heater that's not giving you that instant hot water goodness? It might be a recirculation pump issue. Don't worry, I'm here to guide you through diagnosing and fixing a non-working recirculation pump. Safety first, so make sure you're prepared to handle this task or call in a professional. Let's roll up our sleeves and get that hot water flowing. A recirculation pump is key for that immediate hot water but when it's not working, it can be a real bummer. I'll show you how to troubleshoot and hopefully fix the problem without needing to make a service call. Let's dive in. Step one, power check. Ensure your water heater and recirculation pump are both receiving power. Check for any tripped breakers or blown fuses that might be affecting the system. Step two, error codes. Take a peek at the water heater's control panel. If you see an error code, refer to your manual to decipher it. It could give you a clue about what's going wrong. Step 3. Pump Inspection If there are no error codes, it's time to inspect the pump. Make sure it's clean and free of debris. Sometimes, a simple cleaning is all it needs to get back in action. Step 4. System Settings Check your Rinai settings to ensure the recirculation feature is activated. Consult your owner's manual for how to navigate the settings menu on your specific model. If the pump still isn't working after these steps, it might be a more complex issue, like a failed pump motor or a problem with the control board. I know, I know, this is where it gets a bit tricky, and it might be time to call in a certified Rinai technician. But don't fret, you've given it a solid DIY try. And that's a wrap on getting your Rinai recirculation pump back in business. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more problem-solving magic. Got a question or another fix you want to see? leave a comment below. We're here to help each other out. Until next time, keep those DIY skills sharp.